want to get more confident in front of the camera so that you can deliver higher value YouTube videos, well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Getting up in front of the camera in the beginning can be a very intimidating experience. I remember when I first got up on the camera, I was fearful, and a lot of other YouTubers have that similar belief where the first time they got up to the camera, even the people who now have like hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers, they were fearful of getting up in front of the camera the first time knowing that the whole world would be able to see them. What the people think, all that type of stuff could enter your mind and make you fearful of doing video. So how do you get more confidence? Well, no matter what kind of tip you hear, the most important thing you have to do is practice, practice, practice. I make it a point to get up in front of the camera as much as possible because that makes me more comfortable. I'm able to talk more casually in front of it instead of being nervous, thinking about all the different things that I have to say. I'm able to be myself. You want to become comfortable when you are on that camera. Not just to be confident, but also to be comfortable because the being comfortable will not only boost your confidence, but it will also let people see the real you. One way to get comfortable in front of the camera and as a result boost your confidence is to surround yourself with things that you feel comfortable with. So there are several things that I keep in this room that I like. They are, some of them, these things are toys that I used to play with. Some of them are books that I like to read. So I like to keep these things around me as I'm doing my videos because that is what makes me feel comfortable and that allows me to have a better video quality when it comes to delivering my expertise. So you just want to surround yourself in an environment where you feel comfortable and just practice each and every single day with that environment around you. You'll feel more comfortable, the habit will kick in, and then it will result in you doing better videos. One thing I noticed though about people, especially people who are just getting started, is there are a lot of hand gestures, and you got like hands moving all around, getting all that uh, intensity, getting all the tension. The problem with all that tension is that it could really distract you when you are doing your videos. Just try and do this as you are doing a video and try and talk. You will feel tension here and that tension will travel up and it will affect the way that you are able to concentrate and the way that you are able to deliver your videos. Basically, it won't be as good if you're making constant hand gestures and like moving the fingers around, trying and increasing that tension. You do not want to do that because you'll get distracted by that. That'll take you off your game and then the video won't end up as well. One method that I've heard of, I haven't used it, but I've heard it's a really good method. If you are doing your videos and no one can see your hands, have them off the camera holding a stuffed animal because your fingers will go into that stuffed animal and it'll just create a more comfortable experience instead of having all these tension moments that result in you losing concentration and then that negatively affects your video value. The most important thing you have to do on camera is think of the camera as a friend. Think about you talking to it as a friend. If you think about it as a camera that's recording every second of you, every single hand gesture is being seen and all of that stuff, it's going to be a more difficult experience. When I'm talking in all these YouTube videos, I don't think of myself looking at the camera. Yes, I do see it, but I think of these YouTube videos as an interaction with one of my friends and that makes it natural for me to deliver my expertise in the way that I have been in these videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I make it a point to reply to every single one. And please like or dislike this video just so I get to see which videos I should be focusing on for my YouTube channel. And if you are a first time visitor, I highly recommend if you want more videos just like this one, subscribe to my channel. I got a bunch of Q and A's. I got a bunch of videos about social media marketing, all of that fun stuff. So subscribe if you want more of those. And if you are hungry for retweets, then I have the perfect ebook for you, 27 ways to get more retweets on Twitter. The link is in the description. That is all for this video. I hope it has served you. And what I want you to do is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.